right, you guys, I'm back. Um, had to go answer the door. So like I was saying um, before, in part one, about um, switching it up, you know, once you get so far out, I'm not telling you, <clears throat> excuse me, to do carbs and stuff like that when you first come out. But once you get to a point where um, all you're doing is the protein and the fruits and the veggies, sometimes your body can just get to a place of being stalled. Oh, excuse me. I got instantly tired. Um, your body can get to a place where it just stalls and it just decides it's not going to do anymore. So I say incorporate the carbs after you get past like your six month melting phase because it'll kind of trick your body up to going, oh, okay, okay, I'm getting something different. And then it has something to work with because carbs like sweet potatoes and even some white potatoes and other things. I'm not telling you to just go bananas and eat a whole bag of chips or nothing like that. I'm sorry. I'm checking my phone while I'm talking to you guys, but, um, but I'm saying that, you know, they can be converted into good sugars that help with energy and you burn them off as you're working out. You have to do everything. You got to drink your water. You got to take your vitamins. Everything that they tell you to do, you got to do to a T. And even then, I'm going to keep it real. Um, you may not make it to go. That's just what it is. And I'm using that and I'm, I'm stepping off into that little arena because I see it a lot in groups and a lot of girls are in there complaining because, you know, they haven't seen Wonderland or they haven't made it to their go weight. And the truth of the matter is you just may never make it to your goal weight. That just may never happen. For me, um, 170 did eventually become my goal when I finally set one. But I hit it. But now I'm 178. So once you get so far out, like I'm almost three years out. So I'm in the point of maintenance. It's all about maintaining. And keeping it real with you and maintenance, you probably are not going to maintain the smallest size you ever were. You probably will gain some weight back. But like they say, this is a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. So um, do realize that things are going to happen. Hiccups are going to happen. It's called life. Do I expect to get back down to 170? I don't expect anything at this point. I expect to live my life and be happy and not become a slave to the scale. I know some girls that weigh in twice a day, every day they weigh in religiously. Like if the scale was Jesus, they would be saved, sanctified and filled. That's how much time they spend with the scale. And I just refuse to do that. Me personally, I weigh myself once a month. Why? Because I'm too far out and I'm just too busy to be losing my dog on mine about how much I weigh every second of the day. It's not that serious. It's not. And I know some people probably will watch this video and go, oh, she doesn't care anymore. She didn't lost her weight. Now it's not important. No, it's very important. But the important part about this was I had this surgery so that I could gain my life back and so that I could live my life. Not so I could spend my life being a food Nazi and scared of a potato chip like that's not my style. I've never been that person. I've never been over the top and I'm not going to start today. Um, I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do because I still don't eat crazy. But if I want a piece of cake today, probably going to have a piece of cake. If I want chips tomorrow, probably have a few chips. Now, mind you, that restriction is still a mother lover. So I can't put much in. But I do. I enjoy myself because if you spend your whole life after surgery, just depriving yourself, you're going to find that you're going to trip over into a, a whole nother kind of eating disorder. Beforehand, you were overeating and now you're undereating. You're still just as bad because your body's not getting what it needs. And sometimes when your body don't get what it wants, it'll just do what it wants to do. So you have to find that balance. Um, another thing we talked about in the group with the carb cycling was um, kickstarting the metabolism using grapefruit. Grapefruit is excellent for getting you jump started. I don't know what chemical is in it. Don't get me to line because I'm not a food scientist. But I can tell you that when I was trying to get that scale to move and trying to get rid of some of that bloating and some of that excess weight, I started incorporating grapefruit into my diet. I eat grapefruit almost every day. Not every, every day, but almost every day. One of the things I love to do is grapefruit brulee. Um, this is just one recipe I will share with y'all because it's hella quick. Um, and please, once again, food Nazis, please don't come for my head after this because I know some of y'all be like, you're not supposed to eat that. And I'm like, I do though. So you want to fight about it? We can have an internet war. Use my Twitter fingers. Gangsta. <laughs> but now, nah, um, take a grapefruit, cut it in half. You know, leave the peel on, just cut it in half. And then you can either take Splenda if that's what you like. Me personally, I prefer brown sugar or raw sugar. Just take a little sprinkle the top, not a lot. So you're not going sugar crazy. We're not doing it like we're making ghetto Kool-Aid. We just taking a few pinches, put it on top. Put your oven on broil, pop it in the oven for about five minutes. It's going to crisp on top like a creme brulee does. Like how it has that sugar crust, that delicious, wonderful, Jesus made it sugar crust. It's going to make that. And then when you take it out, take you some sugar-free, fat-free whipped cream. 
put a dollop on top and you got you a healthy dessert. And grapefruit is excellent for you. It's good citrus for your immune system and all those other vitamin licious words that they tell you. It's good. But I know for me that helped move the scale and helped me lose the weight. Um, and so I just wanted to touch on that. Another thing, right? So like I said, I was 170 and now I went up to 180 and now I'm back down to 178. I lost two pounds. So that's good. But I do anticipate probably gaining more weight. And I don't care. <laughs> Why is that you say? you like, dang, she just gives zero nowadays. It's not that. It's that I've enjoyed the sleeve process. I've been enjoying married life. And I've enjoyed it so much so that I'm pregnant. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm just a little bit fatter in the face. Um, a little over two months pregnant. I'll be... Going into my third month in February, and I'm I'm enjoying this phase of my life. So that's why I say, like, I'm not jumping on the scale. And I've seen some girls get sleeve, get pregnant, and still be losing their mind. And I'm not saying that you got to eat more because the baby's going to get what it's going to eat if you're eating what you're supposed to eat. But I'm enjoying this phase. This is the part where you get big and because you're giving life. And I'm really excited about it. So just so you guys know, my future videos will probably be about pregnancy, post weight loss, how you can be healthy and maintain. I don't know how much weight I'm going to gain during this pregnancy. I'm not even going to give myself a projected estimate or a goal that I'm I'm not going to go over this weight. I'm going to let my body do what it does. I'm going to continue to take care of myself. Um, I did, like I said, get hurt back in 2014. I'm still recovering and recuperating from that. So I'm very limited on the physical things that I can do. But I've been thinking about maybe trying to get into a pool because um, I can't I really can't further injure myself in a pool because um, I can't do weights, can't do running, can't do any of that like medically restricted. But I've been thinking about getting in the pool just to um, give myself that kind of workout and and see what happens. So I hope you guys are happy for me. I definitely am going to keep you guys updated. I don't know what I'm having yet. I'm so excited to find out. And yeah, so... That's the phase of my life I'm in. I was pre-sleeved, got sleeved, lost weight, got married, got pregnant, and we'll see what happens next. So that's all. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm not going to hold you guys any longer because I'm sleepy and I feel like I want a snack and I got to figure out which one I'm going to do. Probably sleep. But um, So I'm going to catch you guys later and I'm out. Love you guys. Mwah.